Welcome, let us begin. People who talk well but do nothing are like musical instruments. The sound is all they have to offer. When Alexander the Great addressed him with greetings and asked if he wanted anything, Diogenes replied, Yes, stand a little out of my sunshine. In a rich man's house, there is no place to spit but his face. You will become a teacher of yourself when for the same things that you blame others, you also blame yourself. It is the privilege of the gods to want nothing and of the godlike man to want little. It is not that I'm mad, it is only that my head is different from yours. He has the most who is content with the least. We have two ears and one tongue, so that we would listen more and talk less. No man is hurt by himself, literally by how he interprets what happens to him. If he focuses on how it could have been better, he will be hurt. If he focuses on how it could have been worse, he will be happy. We come into the world alone and we die alone. Why in life should we be any less alone? One day, observing a child drinking out of his hands, he cast away the cup from his wallet with the words, A child has beaten me in a plainness of living. We have complicated every simple gift of the gods. On being asked by someone how he could become famous, Diogenes responded by worrying as little as possible about fame. He was breakfasting in the marketplace, and a bystander gathered around him with cries of dog. It is you who are dogs, cried he when you stand around and watch me eat my breakfast. One original thought is worth a thousand of mindless quotings. He lit a lamp in a broad daylight and said, as he went about, I am looking for an honest man.
nothing can be produced out of nothing. He once begged the alms of a statue, and when asked why he did so, replied, to get practice in being refused. The sun too shines into cesspools and is not polluted. Boasting, like gilded armor, is very different inside from outside. Love comes with hunger. Dogs and philosophers do the greatest good and get the fewer rewards. Of what use is a philosopher who doesn't hurt anybody's feelings? Self-taught poverty is a help towards philosophy, for the things which philosophy attempts to teach by reasoning, poverty forces us to practice. Even if I am but a pretender to wisdom, that in itself is philosophy. As a matter of self-preservation, a man needs good friends or ardent enemies for the former instruct him and the latter take him to task. Other dogs bite only their enemies, whereas I bite also my friends in order to save them. If you are to be kept right, you must possess either good friends or red-hot enemies. The one will warn you, the other will expose you. When two friends part, they should lock up each other's secrets and exchange keys. The truly noble mind has no resentments. The art of being a slave is to rule one's master. Wise leaders generally have wise counselors because it takes a wise person themselves to distinguish them. Why not whip the teacher when the pupil misbehaves? Modest is the color of virtue. The foundation of every state 
is the education of its youth. The wine bears three kind of grapes, the first of pleasure, the second of intoxication, the third of disgust. I am not an Athenian or a Greek, but a citizen of the world. As houses well stored with provisions are likely to be full of mice, so the bodies of those that eat much are full of diseases. If your cloak was a gift, I appreciate it. If it was a loan, I'm not through with it yet. Aren't you ashamed, you who walk backward along the whole path of existence and blame me for walking backward along the path of the promenade? If I lack awareness, then why should I care what happens to me when I'm dead? What I like to drink the most is wine that belongs to others. The noblest people are those despising wealth, learning, pleasure and life, esteeming above them poverty, ignorance, hardship and death. Man is the most intelligent of the animals, and the most silly. The mob is the mother of tyrants. Poverty is a virtue which one can teach yourself. Plato has defined man as an animal, biped and featherless, and was applauded. Diogenes plucked a fowl and brought it into the lecture room with the words, Behold, Plato's man. The most beautiful thing in the world is freedom of speech. It takes a wise man to discover a wise man. Thank you for your time, stay strong.